Last spring, video of a so-called talent show at the UNH chapter of the SAE fraternity was brought to the attention of Durham police. It would be what I think any lay person out there would consider hazing if they watched the entire video. The fist fighting and the tasing and the chugging alcohol, that really was, um, I think, what m motivated us to, to prosecute. No one was hurt, but more than 40 student members of the frat were arrested on misdemeanor hazing-related charges. All offered a deal to do community service instead of going to court. I do think it was um, a more minor case of hazing. Um, and that's why we had offered the ability to do diversion in lieu of a conviction. Most all took the deal, but three opted to fight the charges in court. This was a bunch of young men in Durham amusing themselves by doing sort of silly behaviors. And to pretend it was something more than that, I think is wrong. All three acquitted. In her decision, the judge wrote that the state didn't prove beyond a reasonable doubt that attendance at the talent show or participation in it was a condition of membership. I think the judge was looking for something more express, like we were told we had to do this or we couldn't be in the fraternity. This was all about trying to send a message um, to young people not to do foolish things. Um, the problem is they did it on the back of some young men that from my perspective, did absolutely nothing. The fraternity itself as a corporation pleaded guilty and accepted a fine. The building that housed SAE, now occupied by a different fraternity. In Durham, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.